This is the 2021 Ibex, the 19 QTH um, toy hauler. Um, this is pretty unique when it comes to toy haulers because there are no options to purchase outside of this camper. It okay. comes with everything. Wow. Um, this is the one thing Ibex is known for. Um, it's really weight wise, 44.89 dry uh -huh. weight. So, wow. and the length, 24 feet. Okay. Um, seven feet wide. Um, there's a lot of features, again, standard that they like to stress about that most of the time you have to purchase as options. Uh -huh. And you kind of just kind of go around um, you know, it does have an outside shower, which is nice. Um, one of the biggest things here, you know, you do have some really good storage. You know, your pass-through uh -huh. storage on a camper this size, it's, it's pretty good size for the pass-through. Okay. Um, latch doors, mm -hmm. you know, it's magnetic. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, we're going to go around the other way because okay. I don't want to go. And I want to point out also, that these stickers, these are stickers that are only up here for the RV. You can take these off. So friends watching in Michigan, I know this is a, uh, you know, this brings back <laughs> bad memories for you. You can oh, take that off. Or, stop or it. Or keep it up so everybody knows who your daddy is. Oh, let's, my let's goodness. Let's head back here. Where Shame are we on him. <laughs> Shame on him. Um, again, you know, one of the smaller campers that does a trout or a toy haulers that actually has your patio. I love, um, I love the patio thing. This can be used, obviously, for so many different things. You take your pets along with you. You can actually set a table, some chairs up here, mm -hmm. um, and enjoy the outside. Kids, younger kids, um, they're not going anywhere. You can install an in-ground pool. Um, Maybe sure. Not. Maybe, Maybe not. a hot tub. Uh, yeah, there you go. Hot tub, yeah. Yeah. With, so, and it's decent. With, as long as you have extra support, probably. <laughs> I'm assuming hot tubs are pretty heavy. They could be, but yeah. no more heavier than a pool. Good. Well, I said in-ground pool. Oh yeah. So okay. So you got the ground supporting. About two it was, feet. It was pretty. It was a pretty stupid comment. I, I said it as a laugh, and as I said <laughs> it, I thought that's that's not even funny. It's just stupid, David. Yeah. 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 All right. He <laughs> you, said you it. Agree. Just remember, you he said. Really I didn't quickly. agree. I didn't agree. But as you can see, like I said, you know, one of the smaller toy haulers, but it can be used, you know, off road, but just as good as if you're for your everyday camping. Uh huh. Um, it's got the nice big tires. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. these are your 15-inch off-road tires. Oh, you guys have it nice and cool in it here. It feels good in here. It does feel good. You know why? Because this is a 15 KAC. Really? Come What's standard. The normal for a camper this size is 13.5. Okay. Typically, if you do want a larger AC, you do have to order it. Uh -huh. But this comes standard. Well, see, this is good because let's say it's 90 degrees out and you want the outdoors. So you want this open where right here it's 90 degrees. You want probably a stronger AC, so when you get in here, it actually feels it does, cool in here. Right. It's not heated. Right, right. Yeah. And this here, you know, you get your fold up, fold up, basically fold up sofa. Uh huh. Um, and then it also folds down. You can fold it down into a bed as well. Right. And then you have your small, small seat here. Uh -huh. um, again, another thing. This one comes with an actually 32 inch TV. Okay. Um, wow. Standard. You know, so there's a lot of standards that this comes comes with. Six cubic foot. Um, two-way refrigerator. So pretty good size refrigerator for no bigger than what, what you've got with the camper. Uh -huh. um, again, 100 watt. This also comes with solar panel, standard. Okay. 100 watt solar panel with a 1,000 um, watt inverter. Pretty cool to have that standard. Again, uh -huh. used to be off-grid. Right. If you're not going off-grid, you can do it for your basic camping as well. Great. Um, going into the bathroom. Not a bad size bathroom. Again, you know this is a this is a 20 24 foot camper. So to have a have a bathroom this size, good nice walk in shower. This has great storage as well. Um, check out this deep sink. Oh, that's a cool sink. Yeah, you, know, you got your deep sink here. We know what these were for from the last time, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then you have your two burner range convectional oven all right uh, really nice because it does replace your oven mm -hmm. 
Um, so you kind of get the best of both worlds that are having a microwave and your convectional. You got the vac for the uh, sweeping. Oh, this does have, I'm glad you pointed that out. Yeah, I was that's, going I'm fascinated to mention by that. that. I've never seen it work. It's but they... pretty amazing. You know, you've come in off, after off-roading, uh -huh. right? And you're just covered. Um, it's nice. You just put that hose on there and it just sucks yeah. everything in oh, for I, you. I, I almost forgot. We're touring Keith's. Keith is watching. Oh, hi, I just Keith. Keith yep. is Keith watching. Is watching. He has commented. So, yeah. Keith, you come in all filthy and dirty from the, the toy running. Uh, you, you vacuum your... Whoa, oh, hey, there it goes. Oh. I, it Keith. is on. <laughs> hey, Keith, I just peed a little in your new RV. <laughs> oh, <That's>, my goodness. <laughs> hey, I don't know if... Dave, did you tell Carrie that Keith's watching? It, 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 that came across as loud. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, did you tell Carrie that Keith is watching? Yes, yeah, so that's what we're talking about right now. Keith, gotcha. is, Keith, Keith is, is watching. Keith is watching. Hello, Keith. Um, deep cupboards. Uh -huh. um, again, be able to put many things in here. A lot of you know what people don't like is not to be able to put their dishes in oh, something comfortable. Dishes, you know? yeah. So you've got your dishes, anything you need for the extra storage there. And then of course your bed that does go east to west. Uh -huh. All right, so and of course more cupboards, lots of lighting. The lighting on these are individual, which is really nice too. So yeah. you can make it as dark, um, as bright as you want. If you're just laying in bed reading and you don't want all the lights on, right? It's pretty perfect. It's great, Keith. So, you're gonna love this, man. Everybody else, you need to be jealous of Keith because this is <laughs> this is sweet. If you got a toy you need hauled, this yeah. is a great unit. Now, the best part about this is, believe it or not, this camper is only twenty-two thousand and twenty-two five forty-five for this camper. Wow. You can have it for just a little over two hundred dollars a month. That's great. So, and again, you know, my name is Carrie. Extension 117, Keith, I will be calling you as soon as I'm done here. Well, and here's the cool thing. If there's anybody else who is super jealous of Keith right now, we have three of these exact yep. units in stock. Yep. So you could you could be just like Keith. Who doesn't want to be like Keith? Right. And stock is going fast. You know, um, of all the customers we've been talking to you guys, I mean, a lot of our, our campers are selling before they even hit our lot. Uh -huh. um, we're very fortunate um, that we do have stock left and Ibex is a, is a big seller for us. Yeah, We this were the, one of the first, if going back a little bit, we were the first um, in the States to actually have this camper. Hey Keith, if you're still out there and watching, uh, I don't know how quickly I'd get the information, what kind of toy are you hauling? I'm kind of interested in knowing if you've got a motorcycle, an RV, or I, this is just a cool space. We, we, I mentioned this last time, like, you don't even, if you, if you don't have a toy to haul, I mean, it's just this open it's space. It's a good space. And then yeah. you've, got, you've got a patio. Yes. So it's not even a toy hauler anymore. It's just a patio unit. Right. And I love that. Right. Uh, and we do have a lot of folks that purchase toy haulers with no intent of really hauling any specific toy. Um, but they do like that space. Uh -huh. And extra sleeping. Um, you know, they make rooms out of it. They kind of make it their own. So, like I said, the Ibex has a lot of, you don't, there's nothing to purchase standard. Okay. All right. Or everything right. comes standard. There's nothing right, right. to purchase yeah. I knew additional. What you, <laughs> I knew what you say. So, yeah, really, really nice camper. It's awesome. All right. All right. I'm not hearing from Keith yet. He's probably, he's probably busy jumping up and down calling his friends. Telling, yeah. hey, hey, tell do him the virtual get a RV show now. Look what I just bought. <laughs> tell him get a hold of Carrie, extension 117. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for taking us a tour. We'll all see right. you more tonight. Yeah. Today. Yep. I'll okay. see you guys soon.